The year was 1985. There is a man on the sea's shore. He was going regarding his daily routine at the lighthouse. He saves a girl who came from sea. Who is the princess of Atlantis? Basically, Atlantis is a huge city underwater. From which this girl has come. They spend a lot of time together. And gradually start liking each other. After some time, they get married. A baby boy is born to them after some time. His name is Arthur. He has the power of speaking to all sea creatures. Which means, he can talk the O all sea creatures. Now we see that Atlantean soldiers come to their house. Their purpose is to take their princess back to Atlantis. Because they attack her. So, forcibly she has to leave his family and son. Because the soldiers might have killed them if she hadn't acted the same way. To save their life, she goes back with soldiers. Princess trusts one of his special advisor. So, she asks him to train Arthur as a skilled warrior. So that, he can learn fighting skills like us. Arthur has grown up now. He is invited to come back to Atlantis. Advisor says, You're the first son, and you have the potential to become king there. But Arthur refuses to do so. Because his mother was killed. Just because she loved a human and married him. And I am a half-breed son born from them. This reason is useless for me. I'll never come back to Atlantis. And we see here that some pirates are looting a Russian submarine. And Arthur saves them here. During the fight, the leader of pirates is killed by Arthur. Son of that leader, David is also present there. When David sees that Arthur that is Aquaman killed his father, he plans to seek revenge on him. Now we see another main character whose name is Orem. He is going to be the king of Atlantis. He is also a stepbrother of Arthur, who lives underwater. Which means he lives in Atlantis. Before heading forward, let me differ that. Orem lives underwater and Arthur lives on the ground. Orem meets different kings, who live in different cities near Atlantis, underwater. Orem says to a king that we should attack the upper surface, land, because they are polluting our sea and spreading pollution. But that king is not in favor to attack habitats of land. But he thinks that if more four kings support Orem, He'll be entitled as Ocean Master which means that He'll become Commander and his decisions will be accepted. While they're talking, a Russian submarine comes and attacks them. Here, Orem saves that king and By seeing this, that king intends to support Orem. That king has a daughter named Mera Whose marriage is to be fixed with Orem. But she doesn't want to marry him. She has only a single way to escape. Who is Arthur? She thinks that if Arthur comes here, Orem won't become king. She journeyed to the upper surface, land, and meets. Arthur. She seeks his help and support, and demands that he come back in the water. And you're the oldest brother, you get the right of becoming king. But Arthur refuses. After some time, Mera wins his trust. Because Orem sends a huge wave of sea. And here, Mera saves Arthur's his father. By seeing this, he starts trusting Mera. And comes underwater with her. Arthur meets his teacher, who has taught him fighting techniques here. He was that soldier, whom his mother trusted the most. They tell him that you've to find Trident. It has a lot of power and magic in it. And if someone finds it, he'll become king without asking him. Because without this trident, Orem will never let you become a king. He is very powerful, even if you claim it after defeating him. He'll never let you win. While they're talking, soldiers of Orem soldiers come here and attack them and Arthur gets captured. Arthur is presented to Orem captured in chains. Orms blames him that you're the reason of my mother's death. And you're the reason that queen was hanged to death. 
ORM is his brother and says to Arthur that, I am giving you a chance, leave this area for good, and never come back in the water. But Arthur angrily challenges him to fight. They both get into a fight here. ORM has a higher chance of winning because he is in an aquatic habitat. To defeat ORM in water is a hard pill to swallow for Arthur. The fight is continued and Arthur is about to die. When Mara comes there and saves Arthur. To find the trident, which they're searching for. They go to the Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert was the place where trident was made. They find a holographic message there who indicates that. They are supposed to go to Italy, and there they'll find coordinates who'll tell the location of Trident. Trident is basically like a spear, which has a lot of magical powers. On the other side, we see that ORM meets David. David is the guy who was the son of that dead pirate. He wants to take revenge on the Aquaman. It's also revealed here that Russian submarine which attacked the King of Water, was a result of their mutual conspiracy. It was ORM's plan that David will attack the King and he'll save him, and that King will support him out of sympathy. ORM gives David latest Atlantean battle suit that is based on modern technology, which can only be used by aquatic inhabitants. David tests this technology and becomes happy that now he can take revenge by killing Arthur. Their ORM kills another king of Kingdom of Fishermen and compels them to support ORM because King of Kingdom of Fishermen has died. So, he forces the queen and princess to fight on the front lines. He asks them to collect army. We see David here, who transforms a modern technology suite given by ORM into superhero suit for him. He names it Black Manta. He becomes very powerful after wearing this suit. We see that Arthur and Mara are in Italy to find those coordinates. When David attacks there, David, Black Manta, and Arthur get into a serious fight there. At last, Arthur throws David down the mountains. During the fight, Arthur has gotten injured. Mara treats his wounds and gives him courage. She says that you've to become kind and you can't be so delicate. You have to show courage like a king. They set out in search of Trident. During the journey, they face many monsters. And defeating them, they reach the middle of the earth. This is the center of the earth. They both see their mother for the first time there. Who was Queen Atlanta who has sacrificed herself by coming into this trench? Coming to this trench is equal to death. But Queen Atlanta has survived there without any harm to her. And she was surviving here for a long time. Now Arthur and Mara are also there, and they hug each other. This is an emotional scene. Now they are so near to Trident but Arthur can only go alone. Mara or her mother can't tag along with him. Arthur steps forward to find Trident, and he finds this ancient Trident. But before this, Leviathan attacks him. Basically, he is the caretaker of this trident. Leviathan looks like a mixture of dragon and snake and is huge. He says that whoever came here wasn't worthy and I killed all of them. Arthur, as we learned early on, could communicate with sea creatures. So, he talks to him. That snake dragon-like creature asks him that, can you hear me? No one was able to hear me before this. Arthur tells him his worth and claims to be the deserver of this trident. I'm worth so, I should rule seven seas. At last, Leviathan agrees and Arthur gets that trident. After achieving tridents, Arthur's power increases, and his costume changes. All kingdoms of the sea are supporting ORM. That's why ORM entitles himself as Ocean Master which means that his decisions will be carried out. There, supporters of ORM get to know that Arthur has gotten the trident. The holder of the trident, according to the rule, will be the true king and the ocean master. No question shall be asked from him. 
Everyone is informed that Trident is in the company of Arthur. But Orem gets angry and says that achieving Trident doesn't matter. Who's braver and more skilled? He will be the Ocean Master, presiding over all kingdoms. Orem and Arthur fight on a submersible once again. In this fight, Arthur negates Orem. But it does not kill him instead and tends to leave him intact. Queen Atlanta makes it appear next to him. When he sees that Arthur saved his mother, he accepts his fate and presents himself for arrestment by accepting his defeat. Soldiers of Atlantis capture him and take him away. Movie come to an end here. If you liked Aquaman movie's explanation, then please like and subscribe. And tell your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for watching.